All right, guys, so there's something I need to include in this video that I originally cut out of the video, but basically I was shooting this video, and while editing this video, I got a knock at my door, and it was a package. It was the beautiful UPS man. So I got the knock at my door, and I opened the package. It included a garment that is also dropping this season, which I'm kind of excited about, but they're dropping the stonewash black denim. So for those of you guys that don't know, Supreme will often drop the stonewash denim. This is a pair of pants I would definitely recommend if you are into denim. These are just a nice, clean pair of denims. They also drop the plain, like, washed denim as well. True to size, a lot of times I'll get size 32, but with Supreme, I always get size 30. And I actually cut that out of the lookbook preview just because I wanted to have these in hand to show you if I was gonna discuss them because it's not like a crazy piece and it's something that they've dropped before. But of course, I did get these from StockX. Huge shout to StockX, the plug out here legit checking all of my goods. So thank you, StockX. I appreciate it. There's so much fire this season. You already know I'm going to be forced to acquire a lot of stuff from StockX. So I'm gonna be taking a lot of L's. Hopefully, I can turn all those L's into W's but you already know it's, it's gonna be hard because there's just so much freaking stuff that I want, which you will see in just a moment. But huge shout to StockX for the plug for sending me these. I greatly appreciate it. Check out StockX in the link below. The top link will be a link to StockX and then right below that will be my Instagram. StockX does help out the channel a lot and of course, occasionally they bless me with goods such as this. I have a really dope video planned for these, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, back to your regular scheduled programming. Or regular scheduled program? Yeah, that makes more sense. Today is the day. What is up, YouTube? Today we are going to go over this beautiful fall winter 2018 Supreme lookbook. And you already know I'm gonna need these mother uh, quad focals to inspect this lookbook because I'm telling you there is so much fire. I don't use these enough, so you know your boy's gonna need to grab his little uh lens cloth cleaner. While I'm cleaning my spectacles, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at the Starlife. It's T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. -E. It's going to be somewhere on the screen and of course in the description down below. Hopefully today I'll be posting a bunch of polls that'll actually get your guys' opinions and give you guys a chance to vote on which items you guys like. And I'll be going live with YouTubers and Prime heads throughout the week or th over the next couple weeks discussing like this season and future drops and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in what's dropping for Supreme, make sure you follow me on Instagram. That's the quickest way to get information on the drops and what, you know, other people's opinions of the drops are before they drop. Obviously, a video takes a little bit more time. So yeah, definitely go follow me on Instagram right this second. Now, let's get it started. We don't have a whole lot of time, so we got to get going with this video. Now, as you guys can see, I have a plethora of tabs open. I have so many freaking tabs open right now because I got a bunch of the items that I want to look at and kind of just discuss briefly already open. The reason for that is because honestly this video will be like 40 minutes long if I don't do that and I really don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to put this up on the screen. I have the screen recording right now. I'm going to put the screen up there. I'm going to put my face somewhere beautifully in this frame and then you guys can uh, watch this video. So. Let's get it started! Did I say let's get it started twice? Okay, anyways, first up we have this Patchwork Shearling B3 jacket. Now, this jacket to me is so freaking sick. I kind of like it and I kind of want it. I like the black and the brown one, to be honest, the white ones, man, whatever. Now, that being said, I'm not going to acquire this because this is one of those pieces that, it's a leather supreme item, so it's going to be really expensive. And I just feel like it's an item that's not really gonna hold its value because it's not the item that most Supreme lovers like. It doesn't say Supreme anywhere on it. It's not really branded, but it's just a cool piece. Like, it looks like something that you would have in the, like some post-apocalyptic world or something. Like, it just looks sick. Now, for me, when it comes to Supreme, I try to tell you guys this all the time. Some people understand, some people don't, but when I buy pieces, I try to basically restrict myself to purchasing items that hold their value. Now, this is a piece that it won't really hold its value. I don't think it'll sell for more than retail. So I will probably not acquire it. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of sad because it's honestly one of the better pieces from this lookbook, but I still will have to say goodbye. Next up, we have this leather jacket right here. This is like a leather vest puffy jacket, puffer, puffer coat. So it's basically a puffer with a leather vest over it. And I'm not a fan of this, to be honest. I really do not like this piece at all. Um, it's, it's better than some of the other leather vest collaborations they have done. I'm just, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of leather too because it's usually too heavy. So like a leather piece has to be stupid crazy for me to even want to like it. Like the last piece, for example, that patchwork she like bobber, beautiful. The leather anoraks are, uh, 
I just, I'm not a fan. I was talking to Ari this morning and yeah, um, he likes it. I am not a fan. I, I like the anoraks. I just don't really like leather anoraks. And on top of that, they have like matching pants and leather pants. Like, come on, dude. No. That's, this should not be a thing. That's not comfortable. It's not cool. Just that's that's weak. It's leather joggers at that. Like I, I'm not a fan of any of that stuff. Now this right here, the quilted studded leather jacket. This thing is ah, so beautiful. I love this piece. So sick. Once again, I'm not going to acquire it because I do not believe it'll hold its value. I kind of hope to see Supreme do more with studs in the future. And they actually have a piece that I'll show you guys later on. That's kind of sick with studded like accents. This casino jacket is so fire. You know I am going to get a fire photo in this. As you can see, the little poker chip says Supreme, S-U-P-R-E-M-E, -E, and it's got a little star. So you know I like it, Star Life Baby, that's my last name, gotta love it. Anyways, uh, I was trying to look for like other little details that may have included, because the thing with Supreme graphics is oftentimes they will include little details that you may not notice at first. I think it would have been kind of cool if the dice added up to 1994 in some way, or at least 94, maybe have one where it has like the five and the four, and then the other one where it just has like the four or something. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be kind of sick, but I couldn't spot anything. If you do, then let me know. Um, that blue chip says like the new or something. The, something like that. But yeah, if you spot any little details on that, let me know. Overall, I think it's a pretty cool jacket and I really, really want that green one. That green one is fire. This jacket's sick too. This kind of reminds me of like a vintage like just inspired jacket. I love the barcode 1994. It's got Supreme box logos throughout the entire piece, but it's not overly like, I feel like it's one of those pieces that's branded, but the box logo isn't the main focus of the piece. It just looks like a really sick vintage jacket. And what's really sick about this piece is that it's actually reversible. So if you want to wear something a little bit louder and then you want to kind of tone it down or wear something a little bit quieter throughout the day, you can cop this piece right here. This black one with those little Gucci colorways throughout. Oh, Looking sexy, looking like a 7-Eleven employee. The freshest 7-Eleven employee you've ever seen in your goddamn life. But anyways, next up we have the Gore-Tex 700 filled down parka. This is a piece that's going to keep you warm. It kind of looks like a Canada goose. It's freaking so sexy. I love the little Supreme embroidery on the hood. I'm also glad that's embroidered. However, just keep in mind this piece is going to be pretty pricey, probably like four, five hundred dollars. But it will definitely keep you warm in the winter time. The brown and lime colors are trash to me, but that black one is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Depending on the price, it may be a good thing to cop to keep you warm. However, it might just be a little bit too pricey. This right here is one of the pieces that I really like that they did with this artist. As you can see on the pockets, they have those bones. I'm not a big fan of that. I like the Supreme Arc logo and I like the graphic they chose on the back, especially for a varsity jacket. Like this is a perfect graphic for a varsity. This is like this perfect type of artwork for this type of jacket. However, they did put this type of artwork on a jacket I don't think is quite as fitting, which I'll get to shortly. I probably will not acquire this because I'm not a fan of heavy like wool leather jackets like that. But um, yeah, another one, this piece is sick. They put the motion logo on the back, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the motion logo, but I'm also not a fan of wool leather jackets, so I will have to pass on that. Now this jacket was one of the first official images that we got from Supreme. A lot of the pieces you'll see later on, we've seen leaks for, but this is like one of the first official images, all embroidered. They got matching pants, it's like a little work jacket. Oh man, this piece is so sexy. You got that like really nice like deep red or burgundy colorway with the freaking matching chino pants. Oh my God, this is actually an amazing, piece and I'm really bummed because I took a picture in China when I was in Shanghai with the truth jacket and it would have been dope to have this full suit for those photos. That would have been so fire. But regardless, I'm definitely going to acquire both of these. I actually already did a, I actually did already I actually already did a poll and I was kind of shocked because a lot of you guys voted to drop this. I did a copper drop poll and I think it was 51% drop, 49% cop. I was, of course, in that 49%. This is another piece, absolutely gorgeous. This corduroy patchwork denim jacket is so fire. It's one of those pieces that you would see in the thrift store and you'd be like, damn, this is so unique. Like, it's just such a cool piece and I think it's really sick. It's like a denim jacket. I don't really like the neck because it kind of has like a, like a track jacket type neck. I would have preferred to have a collar or something or I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the neck and I probably will not acquire it just because the price tag is going to be a little bit expensive for what it is but it's a super dope piece and one of the better pieces from the lookbook in my opinion. Now the Gore-Tex court jacket is one of the hardest pieces in the lookbook by far. Oh my God, just look at these. Like that floral pattern is, all these colors are sick, okay? The black one, gorgeous. 
The white and red one, gorgeous. Not gonna cop because it's white and I can't keep anything clean. The blue and the green one, also gorgeous. I normally wouldn't even like that colorway, but I think it looks sick with this jacket. But that floral one, it's over. I need it. And on top of that, matching pants, you already know I'm going to go to school with that full suit looking like a fucking bouquet. I'm gassed on it. That is freaking gorgeous. I kind of want the black and the freaking floral pattern. Like These are just so clean. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Supreme. I might have to give you guys another round of applause when we get the accessories because the accessories are freaking gorgeous. This right here is just another example of lazy branding. Uh, I don't mind branding. I love branding. You'll notice a lot of pieces throughout this collection. Uh, I'll point to and I'll say that, you know, I, I don't care about branding. Like there's pieces in the beginning that I like that have no branding and there's pieces later on that I like with branding. I don't care if something is branded heavily. I just feel like this branding was a little lazy. Now, that being said, the black one is the most comfortable because I think it will still have some value because it has all 3M lettering and people love 3M. However, the other colors are trash, the orange, the blue, the white, garbage. The black one's the only real comfortable one. Then you got the pants, you wear the whole suit, you're gonna be looking like Neo from the Matrix or some shit. There's just fallen letters everywhere. But yeah, I'm just not a whole, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it. If I was to wear any of it, I'd probably wear the pants before I wear the jacket, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a fan. The velour suit is actually sick, especially not that, not this colorway with the black and vomit and baby blue. That's a weird ass color. But that rose and then like toff or waffle color. Oh, gorgeous. If you are taller, I definitely recommend this. Here's an example of heavy branding that I don't mind. I think it's actually done in a really cool way. It kind of has like some type of like bondage vibe. It looks like they took a bunch of these straps left over from the duffels uh, and actually used it on a jacket. But if you look, these like, kind of military in 3B parkas are just freaking gorgeous. I actually had one of these when I was in the military without the Supreme branding and they definitely keep you warm. They're nice coats and just overall, I think that all these colors are sick. I like the red, I like the olive, I like the black. I don't know which color I'm gonna go for. I'm leaning towards the red or the olive. The olive for outdoors and the red just cause I think that just pops, especially with that design. It just looks so sick. And the gold zippers too, that is just a crazy piece. I love that piece. And that's a piece that's heavily branded, but it's done so in a way that it just doesn't, it seems like it, it's meant to be there. It doesn't seem like it was just last minute thrown in, hey, let's just put Supreme on an item and sell it because we know we can't. This actually seems like they meant to do that. And it's just kind of fitting for that piece, if you know what I mean. I really like this jacket. These field jackets are sick. I only really like the tree camo and the black one. If you look right here, this right here is another example, beautiful piece. I love this jacket. It's not really too branded or anything, but it's just a sick ass jacket. Like that's a sick jacket to wear every single day. And it's just a nice coat. This thorn trucker jacket, I kind of like it to be honest. However, I'm probably not going to cop the jacket and I will probably acquire the denim pants. Those pants are fire. I love those. Oh my God, those are so sick. I need a pair of those, size 30. Um, oh man, I got the sickest fit pick planned in those. It's gonna be sick. These reflective camo down jackets, absolutely gorgeous. All 3M, look at that. First of all, you got Supreme branding on the neck, 3M, and then you have the 3M camo. Comes in three colors, white, orange, and green. I think green will probably be the least hyped. I don't really know. Between the white and the orange, I feel like maybe the orange because the yellow camo was so hyped, but they also have the matching pants, also 3M. Absolutely gorgeous. These are the warm-up pants. They do fit like absolute trash, I'm not gonna lie to you. And they're not the best for hiking. I would have liked to see them do maybe like a more like kind of cargo material, BDU material, like, I don't know, something that's a little bit more durable. But regardless, uh, these are sick. These are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and just, it's gonna be a sick combo. You're gonna see some sick fit pics in those, especially on my Instagram. So go follow me, Instagram. The Star Life, T H E S T A R R L I V. This piece right here is also really freaking sick. Sorry, I'm trying to breeze through this as quickly as possible. There's just a lot to talk about. So, this piece, absolutely gorgeous. I love this piece. It's kind of like a vintage style piece that I could imagine being worn a lot in the 90s. I don't really care for a lot of these colorways. I like the red and the orange, but most importantly, the piece I like by far the most is this ice blue with like the darker blue. <sighs> that piece is sex. This, not this, not you. This zigzag stitch puffer coat or puffer, puffy jack, whatever the, that is, that is trash. Throw that in the fucking bin, that's garbage. I do kind of, well, I wanna like this, right? I, I wanted to see some cool holiday pieces that I could, you know, have a little hype beast Christmas. I don't even celebrate holidays like that, but it'd just be kinda cool, right? This just isn't doing it for me, that's trash. Also trash, next piece. 
Now this piece is a piece I feel like a lot of people will hate and I will be one of the few people that actually like it. And to me, I like it because I like vintage clothing. So I feel like if you're a vintage head, you'll probably like this. And if you're like a really huge hype beast, you might like it, but I mean, there's a little bit of Supreme branding on the back, but overall, like if you are like a fashion head, I just feel like you might not like this piece, but this piece is sick. Like this is, this is so reminiscent of like a really dope vintage champion piece. Like I could imagine finding like a vintage starter piece like this even. Super dope, Supreme branding on the back. You have all these champion logos kind of randomly placed throughout looking like a bunch of eyeballs. Three champion logos stacked, 1994. And then of course the champion logo on the chesticle or breastesses. This is the only cool piece from this, this season's collaboration or this season's champion collection. Uh, like this piece, right? You see that and you're like, oh, that's clean. You know, maybe I'll have something cool in the back. You open it up, ooh, that fur lining, that's kind of pimping, that's player. All right, all right, next. And what the fuck? They just put a big tag on the back. Really? They took the tag that they normally put right here, made it bigger, and put it on the back. That's trash. Garbage. Absolutely garbanzo beans. Disgusting. This piece right here I do kind of like. It's like a corduroy base with a flannel hood, and it's decent. I think the only one I could really cop is the black one, but it's all right. It's nothing crazy, but it's all right. These are, out of all the flannels and button-ups, these were one of the only ones that I really liked. I like this red color, and it's kind of like almost Burberry color, except it's got some blue in there. I, I kind of like this, but uh, I probably will not acquire it. Most of the flannels and the button-ups were kind of a letdown, in my opinion. I'm curious to see other people's opinions of this season, like, for example, like Sanjeev or Jacob Wallace, just because they kind of gravitate towards those button-ups or those like they're like more dressy or like rayon shirts and that's usually what i don't care for but i just feel like this season's it's kind of lacking in that department granted it is fall winter so it makes sense it's they're supposed to be nice jackets nice hoodies and like always nice accessories this hockey jersey is so beautiful i love this hockey jersey i love the branding on the little collar right there i i love the colors this like I love hockey jerseys too, because I always wear hockey jerseys over hoodies. Uh, I don't like the white cuffs. That actually might be a deal breaker for me, but that red and that blue color, fire. I don't know why they did this graphic in a thermal. Really weird to me. I'm not a fan of that. The Supreme Patchwork shirt. Of course, you got the little classic logo, a beautiful logo right there. And I do like this shirt. If you look at all the colors, I don't really like this color right here with like the red and blue and yellow. Like that's weird to me, but this color with the more like pastel and like olive colors, I like that one. And then of course the white and the black. The black is so sick. Just like black patches all sewn in. Super clean and of course they have some matching shorts. I don't know which colorway I will go for. Probably the one that has like the pastel or olive colors just because I feel like that'll be a sick fucking fit. But if I was to wear it for everyday use, I'd probably just go for the black. The hoodies are insane. The cat in the hat hoodie, fire. Not embroidered like it is with the pants that match that piece, but whatever. The Jesus and Mary hooded sweatshirt, fire. I love this piece. I don't really know if I like the gray one, but I do definitely, oh, I don't know which color I want. That's hard. That's really a hard piece. I wish the gray and white one was like a little bit darker, but still super fucking sick. That hoodie, sick. I love that graphic. I like this hoodie as well. The Supreme branding is like a nice piece for like an everyday wear. Super sick, love that piece. Um, these, I know a lot of people expect me to like box logos. The box logos are all right. I like the colors. The colors are sick. You got this like peach salmon, mustard, black, freaking creme de la creme. Beautiful tonal colorways with of course a gray and classic red box. But overall, I gotta say, crewnecks, whatever, box logos, whatever. I'll still try to acquire them because they will be worth some moolah, some bread, some paper, some yaver, some cheddar, some cheese, some guala, some skrilla, some paper. Uh, whatever other term for money you can think of. But yeah, overall, just okay. I'm not a fan of that hoodie at all. Not a fan of that. Um, not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. Nah. It's an S logo, so it's fire. I mean, I don't really like know how I feel about some of these colors, like maybe that green and red. But I just like the S logos they did last year better. I love hood embroidery. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the script logo. I like it more than the box logo probably. Eh, I don't know, that's actually a hard, that's a hard call. I like it, but I just don't, I don't know. I'll probably still acquire one of these because I think it's sick. I'm not the biggest fan of zip up sweatshirts as well, but regardless, it's it's pretty cool. And I'm kind of curious about some of these colors. I'm not a fan of that green one. I wish they would've done like a red script logo. I like the blue, I like the gray, I like this like mustard. Um, the black, of course, always clean. That's probably the one I'll end up going for because I always get black everything, but yeah. The trademark, I love these colors. I'm not a fan of the logo and I'm not spending 160 or $170 on a hoodie that says Supreme 
in the smallest font ever. So, yeah. This is trash. Uh, this piece is okay. I like the ARC logo. Not a fan of the Polar Tech. Um, I like the colors as well. Small box. And it's alright. Supreme coveralls. The tree camo one. Super beautiful. Absolutely love it. The Supreme newsprint pants. They did this in a uh, knit sweater as well. I like the pants. Um, it's a, their skate pants, so I'm not a big fan of the material. But regardless, it's pretty cool, and I might end up acquiring that. It's also kind of fitting they did that because, of course, as you guys know, today the New York Post dropped with the Supreme cover. As for the tees, the Madonna tee, I'm kind of let down. They didn't do the Rick Rubin tee. I already know why they didn't do it, but I just think that's stupid. Um, all these tees are pretty sick. This one's, like, okay. But, like, that one, that is fire. Live Sucks Die, Gangsta Supreme, LSD, Gold Teeth on the Little Bear. And the bear is fitting, and I'll tell you why in a moment. But um, this Liquid tee, sick. Depending on colors, of course. The bottle cap tee is pretty dope. This tee is super dope. I love that. I kind of wish they would have implemented the hands a little bit differently. But regardless, it looks sick. This piece, the guts tee is pretty dope. The long sleeve is... Eh, that's, that's whatever. Now, getting into the accessories, right? I want to get into the accessories. I'm not going to talk about all these pieces. There's a bunch of other pieces. There's a bunch of hats, a bunch of other things that you guys will see me discuss throughout the season. And I'll go in more depth about some of those other pieces that I've already discussed later in the season. However, I need to make this somewhat quick. So let's get to it. First, of course, the bags. we got to go over the bags. This balaclava, fire. I might end up copying that for hiking reasons. However, I kind of have a cooler one. It's like a Kith uh, Montclair little like cover but it's not like a polar tech balaclava so i don't know i might end up getting that and selling my kith montclair one this right here these bags are okay but um yeah first of all supreme is printed in like a 3m right which is cool that's sick but if you look at the other colors you can see it it's a little more pronounced it's like diamond stitching really weird it's on the purple and the black as well but it's really hard to see unless you zoom in you can really see it on some of the other bags like if you look right here on these duffels the purple, you can really start to see that diamond cut, and I'm not a fan of that, so I'm pretty sure the only bag color I'll be getting is black or purple, and probably just black. Um, I do like these shoulder bags. Actually, I kind of like these shoulder bags a lot. I like that little uh, clip right there, and then also I like how big they are. They're a little bit bigger, so I feel like you could store more stuff, possibly even my entire camera and maybe an extra lens, which would be super sick. The fanny packs are trash. I hate these fanny packs. It's just everything about them. They look like big circles. Um, these right here, these utility bags, these are gas. I would like to get one of these for just when I'm traveling. Uh, just a cool piece to have. And these Polar Tech totes are absolutely hideous. Now, that being said, these accessories, first of all, like I said, the teddy bear, boom. The teddy bear with the gray box logo hoodie, so freaking gorgeous. I feel like there's a little bit of FTP inspiration since FTP did drop a teddy bear, I think like almost a year ago with their logo on it. But regardless, super beautiful, super sexy, and I'm glad to see it. This Santa Cruz bike, be warned, this thing will be expensive as ball sacks. These bikes by themselves go for between 1500 and three grand. Like 1500 is low end used. So I'm expecting to see this bike at probably around like two to three thousand dollars and that's not cheap uh i kind of want to buy one but i don't know if i want to spend three bands retail and if i don't get it then even more than that but still it's a sick ass piece it's definitely a cool piece that i would actually use i would actually take up to the mountains and use the bike for what it's intended for and that'd be kind of fun so who knows maybe i'll do that but we shall see these uh i like these chairs however i wish they would have done a red one the yellow and white is just the white one's better than the yellow one for sure, but that yellow one just looks like an old ass chair. The f oh, this is crazy. The little uh, Supreme Honer uh, Melodica. I think this is for like making like synthesizer noises or whatever, synthesizer noises. Uh, you got like a little mouthpiece and extension. You have like little keys that you can do. That's kind of gas, honestly. Um, you have a little pro pocket watch. You've got the beautiful Virgin Mary blanket. I'm definitely copying that. That would be, look absolutely gorgeous on my bedspread. Uh, the license plate. I need like 15 of these. These are gas. Um, super sick because when I'm old as fuck, I'm going to keep these for my car, whatever car I get. And someday when I own my dream car, a beautiful 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air, that silver plate or even the gold one would look absolutely gorgeous on the back of it. And I believe classic cars have different license plate rules in the state of Washington. So that will be sick. But the RC car, so sick. Um... These chains, actually trash. The cool thing about the RC cars, my uncle Desi actually used to like be really into RC cars. I don't really know how good this particular RC car is. I haven't looked at this, but if you look up RS540 motor and pin spike tire treads, blah, 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 then it'll give you an idea of what this will go for retail. And 
kind of tell you whether or not it's actually worth the money. A lot of these items are already like produced items that Supreme just puts their logo on and sells. The digi scale is so hard. I wish it was a little bit bigger so I could actually use that to weigh packages, but regardless, that's freaking sick. You know, a lot of drug dealers, if you are, you know what I'm saying, you moving, you're definitely gonna keep that for sure. The male and female anatomy, super sick. I actually kind of like this because like three seasons ago they did the little uh, female thing with the fetus inside. That was dope. Or a little box logo inside, I think. I don't remember exactly, but regardless, super dope. The Supreme Step Ladder. I am short as f so you already know I'm gonna need to get that so that way I can reach the top of my covers and stuff. The Diamond Plate Toolbox, super dope, super sick. I'm loving that. I'm definitely gonna acquire that. Um, the markers or whatever, I don't really like getting reusables. Uh, the Stainless King Food Jar, good to stick sugar in, I guess, but whatever. The Mophie Chargers, kinda sick, kinda gas. Uh, this is kinda cool because a lot of people, they accept fakes in certain markets, and I don't really like seeing like fake Supreme cases, so it's cool to see like Supreme make cases for an iPhone 8, so that way people can hopefully buy this instead of the little fake Supreme cases that they have on their phones, because I don't like fakes even if it's not something that's produced. Like, I just, it's just weird. The hand mirror, super whatever to me, it's just plain. Uh, the Luden's cough drops, I kind of want to get those, but I probably won't, because once again, it's like a disposable good. This right here, the Keychon folding knife, actually kind of nice, and on top of that, if I take that camping, I'll have a little bottle opener and a cool little blade to just cut things open. It's just a nice little utility knife. These little magnetic bike lights or whatever, this pen is going to be way overpriced. I think that pen's like 70 bucks, the ID holders, whatever, the pillbox, whatever, pens, meh. A lot of this stuff is whatever, the hand warmer, the thermals, yeah, all this shit's kind of... I like these boards though, these ones right here. This pink board so sick like i really really like that as you can see i don't know if it's in frame but i have the hr geiger board and i have the other one of that like set as well uh and i might actually get this board too because i just think that's a really dope board i love that graphic this video is already over 30 minutes long hopefully i can cut it down to like 20 or 25 but um yeah man this season's fire i honestly this is one of the better lookbooks, and Fall Winter is always like that i mean i even have the fall winter 2012 little lookbook right here and if you look through it like what a great season. And I think still, like, 2014 is probably one of my favorite seasons, but this season, Fall Winter 2018, is going to be a good one. The only thing that it kind of depends on is how the collabs do. And as you guys know, the collabs last season were trash. Like, last season, the lookbook was decent, and there were a, a decent amount of good items, not nearly as many as there are in this lookbook. However, the collabs were just garbage. Every collaboration last season was trash, so... That's really gonna be what like makes or breaks this season for Supreme. If the collaborations are fire, then of course the season will be just that. So hopefully you guys like the video. Of course, smash that like button. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Like I said earlier, make sure you follow me on Instagram to join in on the polls and some live videos of me talking to YouTubers and Prime heads about this season. And uh, yeah, man, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top bottom of my heart. Peace the fuck out.